I have been with Healthcare Partners for probably two years, and uh, my experience has been absolutely terrific. When I go to a specialist, my records follow me. There's no need to actually provide any additional information. They know what's happened in my primary care doctor's office. Become a healthcare partner today. Medicare open enrollment starts October 15 and ends December 7. Learn more about how you can become a healthcare partner at hcpnv.com. U.S. Senator Dean Heller of Nevada today joined Senator John Cornyn from Texas and other Senate colleagues in support of an amendment to the National Defense Authorization Act that declares the attack at Fort Hood, Texas, a terrorist attack. Amendment 2392 also ensures that the victims of the attack and their families receive the same honors and benefits as those Americans who have been killed or wounded in a combat zone overseas. Senator Heller attended the Women's Veterans Recognition Day on November 9th here in Pahrump and was called to task by Lieutenant Colonel Alice Lubers. I also lost a lot of friends in the Fort Hood shooting and other Army nurse, Colonel Juanita Wyman. Now she can't speak, but I can. And here is your mission, young man. <laughs> and I tell you, no is not an Not's option. <laughs> and if this mission is too tough for you, well, it's just right for the Army Nurse Corps. So. There you go. Yeah. You may or may not know this, but all of the injured and killed at the Fort Hood shooting, that is still deemed workplace violence. No, no. Now, I'm not a veterinarian, but I can recognize a horse's tail when I see one. <laughs> that was, it is, a terrorist attack. And the United States government needs to honor that. Because Sean, Juanita, my other friends, they cannot receive the veteran benefits. So, because you are on the veterans' benefits, <laughs> the committee and I do have surgery to correct any imperfections you may or may not have with this mission, <laughs> but sir, <laughs> respectfully, from the town of Pahrump and all the veterans standing here today, you may use this flag as a loner. I want you to carry it everywhere you go until DC gets it through their head that they all need my friends, our veterans, they all need a Purple Heart and they need the veterans' benefits for being wounded in combat. Heller took the flag and the task and has now stated that he is especially grateful to the members of the Prump community and especially Lieutenant Colonel Alice Lubers who have been working on behalf of these victims and their families. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46.